I've known just about everybody who's had major surgery, whose surgeons before the surgery asked if they used antibacterial soap the night before, the day of, and even went so far as to assist and ask and basically telling them to re-shower before surgery um, because the actual doctors performing the surgery believed in the antibacterial soaps so much. Ladies and gentlemen, it pains me to believe that the United States government, through any reasoning of their own, which is clearly no longer logical and containable, has banned antibacterial soaps. I can't make this up. This isn't going to make sense to you either. And this is the big deal, folks. They're going to call in anything else they want. They're going to say it's this little chemical in it. They're going to claim they're ordering it off the shelves. Any number of things. Ladies and gentlemen, they are banning it. And usually they ban things because something is coming that is necessary to have this. FDA orders antibacterials removed from consumer soaps. NBC News. Say goodbye to your antibacterial soaps. The Food and Drug Administration says they do little to nothing to make soap work any better. The industry has failed to provide and to prove if they're safe. That's bullshit. I apologize for swearing. Um, they're discussing the triclosan and tricarban. Uh, and, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and the uh, benzoconium uh, chloride as the active ingredients which they claim do nothing. I've known people who've gone in for heart surgery, back surgery, everything else during their general consultation, but a week before the surgery, they specifically are told, please, 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 please use antibacterial soap on every part of your body that you can. It is very important. We trust that this works. And they even gave you the brand names and went so far as to say, if you don't, you know, we will make certain you shower here before surgery. And this is a big deal, folks. This comes from NBC News. I have two more sources. This is a serious situation. This is no longer a good government. This is one who wants you to have bacterial uh, infections among countless others. So this is bad. First, you get hit by psoriasis. And then, you get hit again. By joint pain. It's a double whammy. It could be psoriatic arthritis. I apologize. Take the symptom quiz at doublewhammy.com and talk to your rheumatologist. Here it comes. It's 28 seconds. I can run the whole thing under education. A new study in South Korea finds antibacterial soap is no more effective at killing germs than regular soap. Researchers looked at the effect of triclosan, an ingredient commonly used in antibacterial soap, on 20 strains of bacteria, and they found no significant difference in its ability to kill germs than plain old soap. The lead researcher says it is more important for people just to wash their hands correctly and frequently than to worry about what type of soap it is that you use. And that is absolutely bull. As I've told you, I've had doctors who basically said that they required you. Hang on, hang on. There we go. They've required their patients to do this. And consumers may think the antibacterial washes are no more effective at preventing spread of germs, but we have no scientific evidence that they are any better and plain soap and water, said Dr. Janet Woodcock, director of the FDA's Center for Drug Evaluation Research. Um, also quoting this are environmental groups um, from the Natural Resources Defense Council. The FDA agreed to do something about triclosan and triclosad and all those other ones I just named. So basically they were paid to remove antibacterial soaps, ladies and gentlemen. How much do you want to bet, beyond reasonable doubt, we can contribute this to the Clinton Foundation and some kind of major world virus coming? Ladies and gentlemen, 
This is serious. Our U.S. government decided it was necessary to ban antibacterial soap. Oh, they're going to say they're removing a chemical or two. They're reclassifying things. They're removing it entirely. But if the... Here's the situation, folks. One thing is to claim that the active ingredients don't do what they're supposed to and that there's no significant evidence to have it on the market. Another one is to prove absolutely no um, opposing effect. It doesn't harm you. Leave it in. For some reason or another, folks, and I would love to look into this, and this is where you chemistry guys come in because I have no ability to have any labs where I live, but look into what types of diseases and things the governments have in store and look at how, as it here, uh, benzotomian chloride, chlorolenol, uh, benzyl, uh, conium chloride, and all these others. Including the triclosan and triclocarban ban uh, match up. I guarantee you these are major weapons against um, like some of the major um, government bugs that they're going to be releasing soon, folks. And I think the reason they found like Zika and stuff isn't spreading is because of something like this. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen. It's one thing to say that the active ingredients do nothing, so we're going to remove them. No, that's bull. They do something adversely to what the government wants, which is keep you healthy for one reason or another. Because remember, they're not saying that it does you harm to have these chemicals in there. So logic would suggest if there's no evidence that they're doing you harm, leave them in. Right? Right. Thank you. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go into the other ones real quick. Here's the EWG source. As soon as it comes up, I apologize. FDA finally bans toxic glycosin from the antibacterial hand soaps, but as you saw in the first one, they're actually taking the antibacterial soaps off the market. Okay, and this one here claims that the FDA is saying there's no scientific evidence and that they're safe and or effective. And this one's claiming 19 chemicals, including triclosan. Uh, so they're including the uh, triclocarbon. And the other one said tri uh, triclocarban for some reason. So I guess it's whose country looks at it. And um, looks like the FDA issued this on Friday, folks. Consumers may think antibacterial washes are more effective in preventing the spread of these, but they're not. And this is a big deal, folks. Something is coming, and they want to take the antibacterial soaps from us. 19 specific chemicals targeted for no reason. There has been no major sign that these things harm you, and yet all of a sudden, what happens? They're taking them from the markets for some reason. What's coming, folks, if they don't want us to have antibacterial soaps? Thank you.